Okay, this is the Polaris cleaner, and um, it just runs off of a booster pump that pushes high pressure through it, which spins the wheels and makes this thing move on the pool. It's got a debris bag. This is the fine mesh bag I recommended. It picks up all the dirt also, versus a standard bag. And it's got a backup valve here that um, every few minutes it'll shoot water to back it out of corners. If it gets stuck, it just activates and pushes it out of corner. So it activates by itself every few minutes. And those tend to fail once in a while. The, the, the way to know if they failed, if it's shooting water continuously out as the Polaris is running, you know that valve is no good, it has to be replaced. Um, this one here is about five years old. And um, to be honest with you, I have done none ma no maintenance on this one at all. I haven't changed any wheels or any bearings. And um, it's running great and it's in really good shape. Uh, the only thing I've changed is the bag a couple times. It has a rear float to kind of keep it um, in the water, and this fails once in a while too, it gets a crack and it fills with water. So if you find your Polaris at the bottom of the pool on its side, chances are this rear float is a problem and it just pulls right off and put a new one on. And you can adjust the tail to, um, when it's in the pool it'll move to kind of push the debris around and stir up the dirt. And you can adjust it, there's a little adjuster uh, right here, so you can adjust that to allow it to move slower or faster. If it goes too quickly, it tends to shoot water out of the pool and it'll get water everywhere on your windows and whatnot. So you want to keep it a little bit low, but just enough to keep it moving. And it also shoots water out of the back here to propel it along the way. And um, it's very durable. Like I said, this one's five years old. So I highly recommend this cleaner if you have a booster pump installed. Now the Polaris only needs to run for about two hours a day. Anything longer than that, you're just wasting energy. I mean, there's the um, booster pump that, that powers the Polaris. And it needs to be running when your pump is running. This one here has a Teleflow pump programmed to run during the day. So make sure that your Polaris is also timed with the pool pump. Otherwise it will not work unless water is running through it. If you have it off timing, that booster pump will burn out over time if you have it running without the pool pump running. So be cautious and make sure you have the timer set to run when the pump is running. Okay, as you can see the Polaris is moving really well in this pool. Uh, this pool is all tile, all small little tiles in the bottom, so don't get distracted by that. But you can see the Polaris actually moving really good. And that's about the speed it's running at. It's got a <coughs> pressure relief here and a quick disconnect. If you have a party, you can just disconnect it out of the pool. It just comes right out real easily. And sometimes those do fail also, they get a crack in it. It's also got a, a basket for debris. If you backwash the pool or clean out the filter, sometimes the return line will shoot debris through there and that stops it from going into the Polaris and clogging it up. So make sure if you have a problem that's not running, check that after you clean the filter. Make sure there's no debris in there. Here comes the Polaris around this way. You can see the tail moving and that's about the speed you want it to move at. If it goes any faster than that, it's going to be shooting water all over the place. And uh, I'll get a picture of it when it starts backing up for you. And here's that backup valve activating right now. As you can see, it's pushing water through there, and that reverses the Polaris to get it out of corners and steps. Um, it's really, really effective to get it out of tight spots. So it's reversing it right now. Now I have a few of these cleaners that are actually... I have two that are 15 years old that are still running, and a couple that are over 10 years old. And they just need minor repairs internally, and the wheels and whatnot externally. So they're really durable. And um, the hose length, one last thing I'd like to mention is that the hose length is very important. If you have too much hose, the cleaner will tend not to get around the pool too much. You just want to have enough so it reaches everywhere in the pool without too much overlap. And this one here is an excellent size pool. And one more thing also, the hoses sometimes will curl up and what you can do is you can just add another um, thing here that turns the hoses, uh, a swivel is what it's called, and uh, you just cut it with a razor blade, insert it in, put two nuts on, and you can attach another swivel to make the hose turn if the hose seems to be getting tangled up. So that's about all I have for the troubleshooting on the Polaris there. And again, it's a great cleaner. You can see it moving really rapidly through the pool. And within two hours, this whole pool is spotless. And that's my review on the Polaris. I hope you found that helpful. And please check out my other reviews on my site.